300 move you short. When the Persian Empire threatens to invade all of Greece in 480 BC, King Leonidas of Sparta is determined to not let that happen. He makes a stand with 300 of his men, all he can legally take with him, because the priests, the ephors, refuse to let him declare war. And he makes a stand at the hot gates, Thermopylae, where basically the, they, they hope to force the Persians into such a small, tight passage that the, the vast numbers of the Persian Empire will not matter because so few of them will be able to attack and the, the Spartans will have an easier time of holding it than the Persians will have of charging. This is very much a macho male power fantasy and it's heavily stylized and not at all supposed to be reflective of history but a, an admittedly biased view of the, of the role of Sparta and of this one battle. And this is established by the early introduction of the storyteller Spartan Delios, who basically enhances the, the forces that they're up against, bringing in creatures and making, making monsters out of the Persian forces. This is very much a movie that pits these born and bred Spartan warriors against the narcissistic, arrogant, and perverted and lazy Persians personified by Xerxes, the supposed god-king who wears pretty much nothing but jewelry and piercings and whose tall, imposing figure always comes to you with a, an offer, a bribe first, provided that you kneel before him, that you are a subject under his command. And the Spartans more sort of represent that man wants to be free, that we, you know, and in a way democracy, although historically that's not entirely accurate. Now, it's, it's very much a comic book movie. This is the first time, I believe, that Zack Snyder uses his now trademark of slow motion and fast motion and holding a long shot to show a lot of action without cutting. The camera might move either with the one fighting character or maybe pan around or the like, but it will not cut for a decent amount of time and the yeah so so this is very much so yeah it, it, this evokes the feeling of the comic book panel and yes this has a lot of slow-mo but I would also argue that all of the slow motion is used well there is very little story and character here, although this does, whilst also being a very accurate adaptation of the comic book, in some ways too slavishly hampering battle scenes and the like, this does add in some more character moments and some extra plot. There's, we, we cut back, excuse me, to Sparta itself, where the Queen Gorgo attempts to raise support for 
sending extra troops to King Leonidas and his brave 300. And yeah, just in general, there's there's more time spent fleshing out characters, but ultimately it is very much just a lot of action scenes. And in spite of the very... it's very much the Spartans who are winning, it's still very exciting and very... it's, it's a fun film. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.